Hey, Huckster here. Imagine this. A man has to go to court for a crime he's committed, and he tells the judge, Yes, I committed the crime. The crime that you accused me of, but I'm not guilty. I couldn't help what I did because I was possessed by the devil at that time. Now, is the judge going to believe this story? Or All over the world, people are becoming interested in this dark side. Uh, believing in supernatural devils, demons, people being able to be possessed and controlled by the devil or by some lesser devil or evil spirit, demon. You know, is there any truth behind these stories? Is there really a prince of darkness with a great army of invisible spirits who roam around the world, uh, cause the real wickedness in the world, not man? can't blame it on ourselves. Of course, my Bible tells me we can. It tells me that from our hearts come all the things that defile us. It doesn't say anything about something coming into my heart to defile me. You know, what's the video by a man claiming all these things about the devil, and demons, and Satan that he just assumes from what he reads in the scripture. There's no uh, basis for what he says because there's no mention of demons and devils and Satan in these scenarios that he brings up from scripture. So there's only one true way to get to the answer and that's through the Bible. And the Bible tells us a great deal about devils, demons, and Satan. But, you know, you need to look at it very carefully because it's so easily misunderstood by those who just think they know. Most people believe, most Christians who believe in God and Jesus believe in the devil uh, or Satan. If you ask them to explain Satan, they'll tell you he was a, a fallen angel. Once upon a time, he was the greatest angel in heaven, and he was cast out because he rebelled against God. So God drove Satan to the earth, drove Satan out of heaven, along with all those angels who supported Satan. Satan and his wicked followers are here on earth causing all our troubles. God's most prized creation, man, has been plagued by these evil spirits that tempt us to sin. I find that view very hard to accept because the Bible never says that. Uh, if you look at it as as logically as you can, it's like saying heaven was uh, plagued with rodents and God's only way to deal with that plague was to push it off on his most precious creation, man, and cause all our troubles from the beginning to now. That's like saying God pushes his problems off on his neighbor or his children 
children would be more exact. Shifting his share of the blame, so to speak, putting something he couldn't control in heaven down here to plague man for all eternity. I don't buy this story. And it's it's not there. You know, Christians will go to uh, the serpent in the book of Genesis and uh, say that the serpent was uh, most intelligent of all the animals that God created. It was more subtle, subtle than any uh, other wild creature that the Lord God had made. Now this word for serpent there in Genesis 3 1 is a hush. It's not Satan. It's not called a fallen angel. It's called a hush, which in Hebrew means. Uh, enchanted one or one who learns by observance. But Christians will uh, say the ones that believe in fallen angel doctrine will say it wasn't the serpent that tempted Eve, it was Satan who had taken possession of the serpent and was speaking through the serpent. The Bible doesn't say that. There's a, that's an assumption that Christians have. Uh, all I can say to that is, who says so? The Bible doesn't say so. The book of Genesis certainly doesn't say so. Genesis plainly says it was the serpent talking and never even hints that it was a fallen angel, that it was Satan, it was a devil, it was a demon. Never hints to that. You know, Apostle Paul even says, when he refers to this same incident, he said it was the serpent that enchanted one, that one who learns by observance, that deceived Eve by his cunning, not Satan, as Christians wrongly imagine, but the serpent. And it's interesting to see that Paul does not say the serpent was wicked, but he says he was cunning. Jesus himself says that uh, he was wise. Paul doesn't blame Satan for Adam's sin and the Bible and Paul speaks of Adam's fall several times in several places. Paul never once mentions the devil or Satan in connection with this fall. Instead, Paul plainly tells us who is to blame. But the sin came into the world through one man, Adam. And we'll end this part here, this part one. There's a lot more on this that you need to understand and quit believing in these people who are trying to use scare tactics, mysticism, and a whole nother gospel to make you believe in their worldview, it's all wrong. Peace.